Mary Donaldson was photographed at Sydney Airport with her children Vincent and Josephine, a moment she took advantage of to do some last-minute shopping. Mary Donaldson is enjoying a few days of disconnection in Australia with her young children, a trip on the eve of Christmas that this year takes special relevance after the images that lecturers published exclusively of Federico de Dinamarca walking around Madrid with Genevieve Casanova. With the aim of putting distance and away from the media spotlight, Mary was heading to Sydney and it was there where she was captured by the cameras. As a passerby, the princess strolled through the terminal with her children Vincent and Josephine while waiting for the second flight that would take them to the Tasmanian region where her father and siblings live. Aware of the hours that still lay ahead of her until that long-awaited reunion with her loved ones, Mary approached a kiosk, a somewhat awkward moment as she has had to see how both she and her husband continue to make headlines in the national and international press. The princess played it safe and got Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life, undoubtedly a very significant choice considering the delicate moment in which she finds herself. Although it is usual for Mary to travel to Australia in these dates so marked, in Denmark has generated a great controversy that she has done so without the company of her husband, which would have triggered rumors of crisis between them. From the royal house, deny the major and assure that the trip of the princess and the twins was planned for a long time. Mary Donaldson's Christmas in Copenhagen there is no official confirmation on whether Frederick will join his wife and young children in the coming days, what is a reality is that the Danish royal family will celebrate Christmas at Marcellusborg Palace with Queen Margrethe, as well as Prince Joachim and his wife Marie with their children. A family reunion that had not been repeated for four years and that for many is a desperate attempt by the sovereign to settle once and for all the controversies surrounding her firstborn. We will have to wait until January 1st on the occasion of the traditional New Year's Gala with members of the government and parliament at Amalienborg Castle to see Mary and Frederick together again. The first time they will have to face the press since the controversial photographs came to light. The Loneliness of Frederick of Denmark in its Most Controversial Christmas the escape of Princess Mary to Australia has caused Frederick to star in a somewhat desolate image. As is tradition in the Danish royal family, every Sunday in December a candle is lit as part of the maple advent wreath decorated with a ribbon of mistletoe. The first candle was lit by Queen Margrethe and this Sunday it was the turn of the crown prince, whose sad and distressed expression was striking.